Welcome back everyone, Alex here with another little Manga Studio 3D importing uh, episode, I guess. Um, I've been playing around with that studio which was a little more complicated to figure out than was SketchUp. But I think I got it. Um, the program we're talking about, once again, is Manga Studio. It's a program designed for specifically for making comics. And we're going to be importing 3D objects from that studio. If you saw my last video, um, I showed you how I figured out how to do it with SketchUp. So this time we're going to be using that studio. And jumping right into it, I have imported this free dragon from their website. And uh, by the way, their website is das3d.com in case you are not familiar with it. Um, but I imported this dragon here, and uh, you know, it's a dragon, you can spin them around, you know, whatever. And uh, so, to import this so you can use it in Manga Studio, usually what I do, I don't know if this is again, if you saw my last video, you know, I just started playing around with Manga Studio, so I'm not really a pro at it yet, but. Um, I'm going to import this dragon into uh, I export it so I can bring it into Manga Studio so what I do is I go to the render tab here so basically you open here you see it you know and then you come over here to render and then what I do is select all I think in this program it's very important that you do select all because when I don't some stuff is missing and it doesn't look that cool so um, this works for me um, then I go to export and uh, I'm gonna uh, make sure it's an uh, FBX file, F as in Frank, B as in boy, X in, as an X-ray. Uh, give it a name, Dragon. Oops. And go ahead and save it. And when you do that, the screen will pop up here. These are the settings that seem to work for me. This one here is one that I think is very important, no hidden, because if you don't click on that, some textures or all seem to miss to be missing from the final output you know what I never tried lights these right here seem to do some weird stuff when I select them so I'm gonna leave it like that um, actually let me click on lights see what happens live and direct all right let's go ahead and do it except blah 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 so it exported all the files and then I come over here and this is what it uh, that studio exported so it exported all this to make sure the images are in there and they're not, that means you screwed up. So what I do is I drag this FBX file that uh, that studio just created, drag it into that folder, and then select them all, right click, send to create a zip file basically. And now we will go into Manga Studio and uh, import that zip file that we just created, bam! And as you can see, the dragon has imported into the file. And uh, you can uh, move it back, move forward. Same thing that you did um, when you were playing around in it with SketchUp in the last video. Um, you turn it around, you can do whatever you want. Now, in this one here, it seems like uh, when you click on that lights feature there, um, you're able to actually mess with the lighting and something that I was not able to do with SketchUp At least I was unable to figure out how to do it. So light source you can actually play around with it You know, you can actually Move the light sources around Which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me so Once again, um, you can do whatever you want with them pretty much you can turn them oops Well, that's kind of cool that little shadow there but yeah pretty cool um, so the, basically the same concept um, as we had it in uh, in SketchUp so as you can see pretty freaking cool if you ask me if you need a dragon um, you can even pose them out if you wanted to start messing around with that a little difficult to do but you can if you wanted to if you wanted to make his head looking down I think you can 
So just play around with it. You could change the pose. Look at that lighting. Pretty freaking cool. Um, so there you have it. That's how you do it. It's very pretty pretty easy. Um, as long as you have those settings, I think you'll be all right. Um, if you don't click on lights, I don't think you're able to mess with the lighting. I'm not sure on that, but give it a go and see what happens. Um, and that's basically it, I think. Yeah, that is it. So try it, see if you like it. It's free. Um, of course, Manga Studio is not. But that's all for now. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.